Happy holidays, everybody. Welcome back to On The Go. It's December, so we're going to do one of the coolest things you can do around the holidays, or at least cool to me. We're making sugar cookies. They are just as much fun to make as they are to eat, so you get a two for one deal. So, this is what you're gonna need. 250 grams flour, about a half teaspoon baking powder, 120 grams butter, 200 grams sugar. I have a vanilla pot here, but you can use vanilla extract or even a pinch of cinnamon. One egg, and sprinkles. These are optional, but a lot more fun. Okay, so let's get started on our cookies. I'm gonna grab two bowls here. To our first bowl, we're going to add the flour, the baking powder, and then we're just gonna mix these together, just into the blended. All right, now the second bowl. To this bowl, we're gonna add the butter, and the sugar. And we're gonna take an electric mixer and beat them together until they're nice and creamy. All right. And to this, we're going to add the egg. The vanilla but like I said you could use vanilla flavoring or even a little cinnamon now I'm going to beat everything together and at the same time I'll pour in the flour slowly So, your dough might look a little crumbly, but just take a spoon, stir it together, and then get ready to use your hands. Now we're going to separate the dough into two parts. Roll each part into plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. So, we're gonna separate the dough in half and just make one disc with one half and another disc with the second half. Now all you have to do is wrap them in plastic wrap and stick them in the fridge. It'll take about 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, now my dough is nice and firm from chilling in the fridge and it's ready to rock and roll. But first, we're going to preheat the oven to 175 degrees Celsius because it's easy to forget. All right, so it's time to roll out this dough. Now, trick number one is to put flour on everything. You also wanna put a little flour on the rolling surface so that the dough doesn't stick. The thinner you roll your cookies, the quicker they will cook and the crispier they'll be. I like my cookies this thick. That's about half a centimeter. When the edges start cracking, just move them together a little bit. This part doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to use cookie cutters to cut your shapes as you like. Okay, now that I've rolled out the dough, it's time to cut the shapes. The funnest part. Each time you use a cookie cutter, it's good to wiggle it a little bit. Next up, a rocket. How cool is this one? Not quite traditional, but still cool and worth celebrating.
Now that I've cut out all my shapes, I'm going to place them on a baking tray. So, just take away the scraps and save them because you might be able to make another batch with them afterwards. Now, take a spatula and carefully place each cookie right on the cooking tray. Here are our cookies. You're just going to place these in the oven for six to nine minutes, but keep an eye on them. As soon as they start to brown around the edges, they're done. <laughs> now my cookies have cooled off so they're ready to eat, but I do have a few Christmas trees in the batch, so I want to decorate them. I'm going to decorate the trees with some beautiful sprinkles, but to get the sprinkles to stick to the trees, I need a little glue, or icing. Now, there's an easy way to make icing. You just take a bit of powdered sugar, and mix in just a touch of water. You're going to go little by little until it becomes a paste. If you don't make enough the first time, don't worry. You can just make some more. And if you put in a little too much water, just add a little more powdered sugar. You want it to look like glue, because guess what? It's gonna work like glue. Just use the back of the spoon to spread it all over. And the decoration. Some people like traditional Christmas colors. I say, why not have them all? Now it's officially Christmas. What fun holidays do you celebrate around December with your family? Comment below and we'll send one of you a set of my favorite cookie cutters. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to come back to On The Go next week and the week after that.